Hey my beautiful Virgo peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Cancer Moons Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your week of the 11th through the 17th. How are you? Hope you guys are doing well. I do want to mention before we start, if you're interested in a personal read, you can check out my website, CancerMoonsTarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description below. But Team Virgo, what's up? And let's see what's going on here for your main situation regarding this week. Message is coming in here for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Throughout the week of the 11th through the 17th of September, what do we got showing up here for the lovely Virgo gang? Let's go ahead and check it out. Dun, dun, dun. Team Virgo, overall energy for you is going to be a ten of swords. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Overall energy is the Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Looking at the current energy, we got here a King of Swords, what you're dealing with. We got here the Hermit. And then having a look here at the current outcome, the Knight of Swords showing up as well. Now, Hermit card coming into play here. That is Virgo energy. So you're showing up here in this reading. Uh, Ten of Swords here, King of Swords. You're very serious here about some ending in your life. I think that this is about being as disciplined as you can to kind of avoid somebody specific. Um, it looks to me right what it is you're dealing with hermit card you're avoiding somebody you're staying away from someone and you're very adamant about it very serious about it is what i'm seeing here uh looking at the current outcome with the king of, or sorry with the knight of swords knight of swords here represents you're doing what you can to communicate it incredibly clearly that you don't want a relationship with somebody going forward or a relationship with something specific going forward. So it could be anything, by the way. It doesn't have to be a person. Maybe you're making it abundantly clear that you don't want to have an association or a tie to a specific career. You don't want an association or a tie to a specific group, whatever that came, uh, whatever that may be, you know, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm feeling that here so far. It's like I want to be separated from something 100%. Now, what's showing up in the challenge for Virgo coming in? into this week what's showing up in the challenge and we have here the page of swords yeah so whatever it is you're separating yourself from they're still keeping an eye on you you know page of swords is naturally known in the tarot as kind of like the stalker card right so this is the energy of somebody else observing you keeping an eye on you they could be asking about you virgo they could even be extending and reaching out to you because page of swords can still be communication uh so this person here might be talking to you but you kind of still seem to be ignoring them if that happens to be the case uh, but somebody here still very much so got their eyes on you even though you're trying to make it abundantly clear that you want things to be over and done with now let's have a look here and get a little bit of information some extra information so tell me about the hermit what's going on here with virgo with the hermit three of swords i do feel like there is a reason as to why you are trying to completely be detached from somebody or a situation three of swords can represent being hurt so somebody here could have hurt you somebody here could have emotionally hurt you basically is what it comes down to and that's more than likely enough the reason of why you want separation uh, taking a look here at the Knight of Swords, yeah, I do feel like what you're making abundantly clear once again is that you're not interested here in going forward with this person. You want to completely make sure things are over and that is set in stone. So I feel like you're trying to clearly say, hey, you hurt me. You're not getting another chance here. And that's just simply going to be that. Now, having a look here at what you can expect throughout the rest of the week here of the 11th. Let's check out that here for Virgo. What do we have here for the rest of the week for Virgo? What can they expect? throughout the 11th through the 17th. We have here the Two of Cups. We have here the Eight of Cups. We have here the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa, I feel like very quick alignment, like you're very quickly gonna be aligned to something new. Uh, for example, Virgo, if you are breaking up with somebody, maybe this person hurts you and you're just done with a romantic relationship. It's like right after breaking up with this person, boom, you get the most perfect opportunity. Um, and that can be another person coming into your life. I don't feel like you'd break up with somebody and date somebody new immediately this week, but I do get the sense that there could be somebody really stable, really healthy coming in here for you with the 10 of pentacles to the point where probably over the next couple of months, there will be some development between the two of you. Uh, but it's kind of like the next person gets put in your path quickly. Uh, so if there is a breakup this week, here comes the next person very fast. And, uh, That'll develop in the next few months as time progresses. Um, if it's not about that, though, right? If it's not about meeting a new person, Ace of Pentacles, though, some sort of opportunity for something healthy, I think, is going to show up here for you and make you feel all the world better this week, uh, which is really cool. So after you disconnect your Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, something healthy is going to show up for you in your life. I'm also hearing like you're getting, by the way, I just saw as I'm recording the video, I see the timer. I just saw 444. 
And another Zodiac got that uh, number synchronicity today too while I was reading for them. But either way, 444 in my book, that number, synchro uh, that number synchronicity means that trust the process. Right now, your angels and your guides are supporting you. They are doing everything they can to guide you to where you need to go. So trust that everything is unfolding perfectly. Okay, 444, everything is unfolding perfectly. You are exactly where you need to be and you are going to where you need to go. So yeah, I think that uh, you're gonna get the confirmation here that something needed to end for a specific reason. Someone or something was definitely not meant for you in this lifetime. And you're gonna start coming into alignment with what truly is meant for you here at this time. So I like that you're gonna be getting that clarity and that confirmation here this week. That's very, very big. Uh, what else here can Virgo expect throughout the week here of the 11th? We have here the Temperance, we have here the World card, and we have here the Ace of Cups. I think you're going to be feeling good here about your new beginning. So whatever healthy thing is jumping in here for you or whatever comes next, I think it's unfolding itself this week for you. But I think you're going to have a really good feeling about it. So honestly, even though someone here might have hurt you and that's a whole situation within itself, I think that very quickly things are going to change for the better for you. It's like night and day difference very, very fast. And you're like, whoa, I'm actually really happy, really fulfilled. Everything looks good. I have zero complaints right now. Like I'm in a period of time where something was definitely not meant for me, but the alignment comes fast. Okay. Very, very fast. Let's get one more card for what Virgo can expect this week and the fool new beginning 100%. It's also the energy here of release. Uh, so I think that, you know, believe it or not, you might not necessarily be entirely over, you know, whatever occurred between you and somebody else this week. But I think that, uh, you know, the healing will occur for the next couple of months, but you know that it's the right thing to do to let them go immediately. That's what you'll know this week, if I could put it in words or put it in the best words. Uh, this week, it's like, yeah, I know I'm not meant for this person. It's going to take me some time to heal, but like, I know exactly that they are not for me. And with that being said, I can let go of the idea of being involved with them and know that it's the right choice to go forward with whatever comes next. Okay. So pretty damn good so far. All right. Let's hop on in now into career, love, and your personal life. We're going to look at career here first. So what do we got coming up in career for the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus throughout the 11th through the 17th. What's coming up in career here for Team Virgo? Starting out here with the overall energy, we have here the Two of Swords. Taking a look here, or not even the overall energy. <laughs> Starting out with the first card, Two of Swords. Next card for career is going to be the Strength card, and we have here the Five of Swords showing up as well. I do get the sense for some of you it's tricky with your career right now because Five of Swords can represent the energy of having a lot of problems with it. Uh, you could have a problem with management or staff members and coworkers. Uh, so there could be like actually not necessarily problems with the work or the job, but maybe the people that's involved in it more so it's looking environmental. Uh, so if you are having issues with the environment, strength card, you could be considering just being more tame. I think that you're choosing to not associate with people so much. It's like I'd rather focus on the work than get close to people. So it's kind of like I'm not fucking with anybody right now at this time. I'm just doing me. I'm showing up, clocking in, doing my work, clocking out. That might be the vibe this week, especially if people are drama filled or if people got attitudes. Virgos ain't getting involved here at this time. Two of Swords is also the energy too, where I think you're taking into consideration, probably looking for a new job. Uh, so I do get the sense here for many of you when it comes to career, you might not be all that impressed or all that happy with it. So you're probably keeping options open. And I think that right now this could be the energy of like, yeah, I'm showing up, going to work, but keeping my head down at the same time, just doing what I got to do. I'm getting out. And then when I get home, I'm on indeed.com typing up, looking for a way better job. You know, that could be kind of the vibe here for you this week. So I think that if that's the case, you're not trying to get involved in anybody's drama, anybody's mess. You're just pretty much here kind of keeping to yourself. All right. Now let's have a look here in your love life. We're going to start with single Virgos first. What do we have here for single Virgos in love coming into the week of the 11th through the 17th? For the single Virgos, we got a two of wands, we got a justice card, and we have here a six of swords. You know, I do get the feeling here for you that there could be some sort of new gates opening up here when it does come to love with somebody. I feel like the two of wands is like you're seeing a different side of someone. You've seen and explored one side of them already, but now you're starting to see an even better side, an even greater side is what I'm hearing. So for the single Virgos that are pretty much dealing with somebody, you're seeing more of who they truly are, and I think that you like that. There's 
definitely a very balanced vibe that comes off of this person. Also, there's a lot of respect that comes from this person as well. I feel like for the single Virgos, you're dealing with a very respectful person. You know, this is the energy of dealing with a gentleman or whatever, you know, whoever it is you're connecting with, right? Uh, so at the end of the day, it's like, it feels to me like you're dealing with a very, very kind individual, very balanced. I see here with the Six of Swords, though, there's a future here between you and this person. So for the single Virgos this week, I think what's being made abundantly clear is that not only are you uncovering another side of this individual and seeing it be like a really good side too, uh, there is a lot of balance here and a lot of comfort here with this person. And you're starting to see, wait, I can see a future with this person. So I want to, I'm invested. I want to keep being invested because I think this can go places. So that's what I see here for the single Virgos. Really cool, actually. I like that a lot. Uh, taking a look here at the coupled Virgos, what do we got going on for you? So what's going to be showing up here for the coupled Virgos in love throughout the week of the 11th through the 17th? Let's take a look. First card, we got here the Moon card. Next card is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And lastly is the Eight of Wands. You know, I do get the feeling here that if there has been kind of discussions about not feeling like one another's needs are particularly being met, I think that there is a lot of consideration going into the relationship this week. You know, if your partner comes to you, Virgo, and says, hey, I don't know, like, I just feel like my, like certain needs that I've been you know kind of wanting lately haven't been feeling like they've been getting met they could be having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you about this you can be understanding and then maybe you guys are working on supporting one another's needs could be vice versa maybe you have certain needs you wish could be tended to and you explain that to your partner and at the end of the day you guys start to kind of resonate and come to a deeper understanding with each other nonetheless you got here an ace of wands which is a lot of passion and it definitely feels really good here for the couple the virgo so i feel like very good um What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, very good communication, there you go, is gonna be coming up this week about what each other need. And I feel like there's gonna be a lot of equal giving and receiving, lots of equal give and take showing up because you guys conversed, because you guys spoke about what you need at this time. And I think that having that check-in with each other really brought in a lot of passion and really brought in a pretty much game-changer energy for the future of your relationship because it was such a healthy conversation and considering that you both are taking action and doing what each other need at this time for the relationship just shows that you can communicate in a healthy way. Uh, so I feel like this week is going to kind of test your communication and your ability to execute, really communicating, understanding, and working with one another. And you're going to see that come through in a super positive way. So a couple of Virgos are looking quite fantastic. All right. Love that for you. Coming on in to your personal life, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here with you personally. For the week here of the 11th, what do we got going on personally here for Virgo at this time? We have here the death card. So yeah, things are definitely changing. We got here the nine of swords and we got here the hierophant. Yeah, I think you're coming to the realization that I don't want to be committed to negative energy any longer. I don't want to be committed to something that makes me anxious, unhappy, disappointed. You know, for the main situation that we uncovered, we spoke about a person that you said, I'm done. And when I said I'm done, I mean, I'm done. Point blank period. There is no going back. So you meant that because somebody here really hurt you. And I think that you're recognized. I can't be committed to people that are going to hurt me, people that are going to give me this nightmare kind of energy. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not going to live in fear for the rest of my life on whether or not I'll be happy with someone or are they going to hurt me? You know, X, Y, Z. So death card, definitely some changes here to the people you will be associating with. I do feel like majority of this is talking about this specific person, uh, but it can even be other people. You might be noticing this week, um, if there are other people in your life that are bringing in low vibes, you might get to the point where it's not just about cutting out this specific person, but it could even be a couple people if you feel like they're not really adding any sort of good vibe and good energy here to your life overall. So you might notice that as well. All right. But yeah, things are changing. You want to be surrounded by a good environment. There's definitely going to be environmental change and an environmental shift. Um, I feel like you're choosing to be around people who you know are healthy. And for anybody who's been unhealthy, you're taking your hermit mode energy and distancing yourself from them. All right. All right, though, Virgo, hopping on into the last pull of this uh, reading. Let's take a look here and see the overall outcome regarding the week of the 11th. What do we have for the overall outcome for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising Venus throughout this week. And what do we got? We got here a four of wands. I like it, guys. Four of wands here says now you feel good. You feel stable, you feel happy, you feel healthy, you feel blessed with that four of wands showing up for you. You know, it's also kind of like a celebration type of energy. So 
kind of like a, you know, goodbye <laughs> to the person that you needed to isolate from and you're so ready to welcome in the good stuff. I mentioned to you guys, something is coming in very quick though. So like it can be once again, if there was a breakup that occurred, maybe this was about meeting the person who's going to be your next person uh, that you deal with romantically. I don't think that you're going to get with them immediately. I think it's going to be something once again that uncovers for the next couple months. Uh, but meeting that person this week is going to be awesome for you. You know, there is going to be some sort of new healthy thing showing up for you that really changes and makes all the difference. So, you know, it starts it starts out a little tough with that 10 of swords, but it very quickly unfolds into a wonderful week where you feel really happy with where you now stand. All right. And that's what I'll say here with that four of wands. You come out this week being happy with where you now stand. OK. All right, though, Virgo, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for coming out here to your weekly read. I really appreciate it. An honor to read for you as always. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, please do like uh, please do drop a like and comment down in the description. Uh, I can't speak today. Mercury in retrograde, please drop a like and feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. There you go. Okay. Uh, either way though, guys, really, really appreciate you. Of course, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd be more than happy to welcome you here into my soul family. So thank you to those of you that subscribe in advance. And uh, if you want a personal read, first link in the description below, I'll be happy to meet you over there. But Virgos, enjoy your week and I will see you all in the next video. Much love and have yourselves a good one. Later guys and peace.